Saturday evening, Barcelona played against Atletico Madrid. Instead of doing a match analysis today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead, we're going to take a look at some of the concepts of positional play that Barca used in the match. Concept number one, the right field occupation. Even though at the start of the match, it's often said that Barca play in a 4-3-3 or something. During the game, this often becomes a 2-3-2-3 or a variant of that. This has three main reasons. The first reason is that it creates width and depth with a minimal amount of players needed. Here you can see that Barca used the fullbacks to keep the width of the pitch. And the striker makes the field as long as possible. The second reason is that it allows Barca to have a lot of players in the centre of the field. Which allows them to create numerical superiorities there. And the third reason being that when Barcelona lose the ball, they are able to immediately counter press. Barcelona lose the ball, but because they have a lot of numbers in the centre, they are able to immediately counter press Atletico. The second concept. The striker makes the field as long as possible and drops when he's able to receive the ball. Here we can see Suarez positioning himself behind the Atletico defenders. This is to distract them as he is out of their field of vision. The moment Busquets is able to play the ball, Suarez immediately drops to be able to receive the ball. And another example in which Suarez first moves up to push the opponent defenders back and drops when he's able to receive. Concept number three, creating a numerical superiority at the back. As Atletico Madrid pressed with two strikers, Busquets would often fall back to create a 3 against 2 at the back. The first reason to do this is because it allows you to have an extra man at the back which makes it easier to play out. The second reason is that it allows one of the other central defenders to dribble into midfield. Messi and Coutinho would constantly position themselves in between 4 players. This is the ultimate form of positional superiority as it doesn't matter which player steps out to press them, as they'll always have to leave space behind. Concept number five, a third man combination. A third man combination is a passing combination in which a player passes to player B, who then passes it to player C. This usually works as the defenders would follow the ball and therefore not pay attention to the third man. Concept number six, dribbling to attract opponents. When a player starts to dribble forwards, this usually draws opponents towards him and the ball. As this happens, teammates are able to get free as the opponents are focused on the ball instead of the man they have to mark. In addition, Barca also use some other forms of dismarking which aren't necessarily a part of positional play. The first one being opposite movements. Opposite movements are two players who move into opposite directions. This works as it means that both defenders have to follow their opponent with usually at least one of them not reacting in time. Opposite movements can also be used in a horizontal way or to create space for players between the lines. Another form of dismarking that Barca used was a run in behind. A couple of things are important here. First of all, the run has to start on the opposite side of the field when a player has time and space on the ball. Then the ball has to be played when the runner is about to cross the offside line, which eventually results in a big chance for Alba. Now, there's always one guy who's like, but it was nil-nil and Barca only won because Atletico went down to 10 men. Great fucking dismarking. Yes, I understand all that. But this video is just to show and explain to you guys the individual concepts that are used during these types of games. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments if you want more of these types of videos. If you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and links to Patreon, Instagram and Twitter are in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.